hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to create a hotel management system using dotnet framework c -sharp. now in this system we are going to use CRUD operation which is create read update and delete with SQL database okay now we need Visual Studio for this task you can download the free version from Microsoft if you search Google Visual Studio then here you will see this download option then finally there is the community version that you can download for free after downloading you can install that and then you have to open Visual Studio by searching not Visual Studio code okay should be this icon Visual Studio now in this case I have installed Visual Studio 2019 it is totally fine but here it's opening When you open the Visual Studio for first time, actually it might take some minutes to configure itself. Alright. Now here all we have to do is just create a new project. Now here you must uh, connect your computer with the internet because this Visual Studio is preloading some templates, some options for internet. Now uh, here we can select the it should be Windows form application let me just console not web application is not it is a uh, scrolling so fast ha ah, here we need Windows forms in forms application a project creating a dotnet core windows form okay now we can go ahead and select this and click on next button here i will say the project name as hotel management uh, system All right now we can uh, go ahead and click next okay target framework uh, if you are using the latest version of visual studio you might see some latest version available here but uh, in this case I don't know I have 3.1 click create now here we have created our project it will contain some uh, blank windows form that we can go ahead and edit okay project has been created now 
in this right side you will see this solution explorer where you can uh, navigate into different kind of files and uh, dependencies and etc in this left side you will see server explorer and toolbox toolbox will contain some layout components that you can commonly use and other type of components let me just uh, remove this uh, maximize version then just replace refresh because uh, i'm just using this inside mac here you can see i'm using this with my mac now uh, it is fine waiting for intersense finishing in initialization actually i just created this uh, windows form application for first time i guess that should be the reason it is taking some time okay now here our first form has been loaded now uh, I will just close this to have some space here you can click on this uh, form one dot designer then it will open this uh, layout code that you can handle click but click options and other variables if you go to here if you go to scroll in that you will see the same thing but here if you select this uh, main component of the uh, layout file name then you can just uh, go to designer you have to double click that then it will open this design window okay actually i'm uh, doing this after three years that's why i'm trying to remember everything now fine i can just maximize now i'm going to just close this i will come back to this solution explorer later but i need some space to work all right now here the first thing that i am going to do is just change this form name because if i run this okay now here is our application running but now i want to change this form name to change that we can cross this here select on this design and uh, not that one i need the designer right click on this form click properties here you will see this text option if you scroll you will see this in uh, appearance section now I will change this into hotel management system login alright now here we are going to create our design page to add components we can go to this toolbox and firstly I'm going to use a label I can type label then it will come by suggestions otherwise you can uh, scroll here you can just drag that here 
then I will say this label text by changing its properties right click on this and properties now label text will be uh, welcome to hotel management system uh, okay now I want to change this uh, font size because it is uh, literally small if I select this uh, option font option then I can click on this more button then here I can see some uh, font sizes I will select like uh, 24 and then font type as I like to use the normal one as times new Roman and bold and 24 okay all right now I'm going to add some group box let's remove this uh, text to search here I should be able to find group box here just drag that into your form this will uh, make sense to your application design we can change this group box text which will be visible into user visible to user uh, login okay I will say please login to continue I will just uh, scroll this to fit with the uh, size of the form this will be enough I can also change this uh, form size here in this size option we can change these values otherwise we can directly just do this okay okay fine now we need a label to indicate please enter the username I will say text of this label as let's go to properties right click on that and then properties otherwise when you drag in some layout component it is properties will be appeared here don't worry then now uh, here in this text we can say username I should increase this text font size this literally is small I can select something like 16 alright it will be fine now I need another component we can just copy this component and then paste that here copy and paste then it will create another layout component as same as this selected component I will say the text of this as uh, I'm sorry for the noises it is uh, literally disgusting I'm sorry now the text will be password because I'm just uh, doing this video as a longer video I cannot edit and spend too much time to reduce uh, noises and uh, mistakes 
I will do this video continuously now uh, this is the first video of hotel management system and after that in the second video we are going to create the database for login also we are going to create the login table and then we are going to reference that database with our windows form this form and then go ahead then login if login success we can create a new form which will be opened okay this will be a, a long process now uh, I need some text field that we can enter some values there for that I will select let's see what we'll have text box just drag that to here make sure you are using same font size as label of username otherwise system looks like bad system people will not going to use that okay font size is 10 to 16 now I'm going to just align this into center in related to this relative to this username label now I need another text box for our password again noise I cannot avoid noises here uh, this is a password box for example if you running this you will see when you are typing something in this password box password text field it is just appearing to user what we have to do just show star symbol or other symbol and it will hide the what user typing now here there should be option call password car password car here password car is available we can give the symbol what we want in this case I'm going to provide a star you can provide any symbol then it will replace the text with the star symbol whenever user type is something but it will not uh, change the string that uh, you will get programmatically don't be afraid okay uh, now we need some button that user may try to log in I will align this in relative to this password text box and also with no, no height and then with this fix now now I need uh, to change this button text how we can do that when you go to properties here you will see this text option I will say login okay uh, now this video is uh, much longer about 18 minutes I will continue the next task these are uh, in this video we have created our design in next video firstly what we will do is just add some identifiers for each of these layout components to this uh, for example this text field this uh, what we call that as text box and then into this text box and also to this button after adding buttons identifiers text box identifiers we are going to uh, create the click event for this button and then pass this username and pass it as a string as a string and then we are going to check whether those password and username uh, uh, empty and if not empty we are going to uh, do the database part but before that part we have to create the database now that is it for this video I will see you in the next video thank you